Ooh, Jean's root is actually finally open. Right now, uh, I don't know if it's right now or it's coming soon, but Jean's, Jean is coming. Jean is coming. Jean is coming. Jean is coming. I don't know uh, who's next after Jean. Let me have a quick little uh, research thanks to uh, Google. Apparently, um, it's, it might be the same order uh, like the original uh, um, was. Um, is the next uh, vampire? Boom. Okay, I got the list in front of me right now. Right now, so um, yeah, got the list right now. Um, the game will launch. Yeah, this is the Japanese version. I don't know if it will be the same pattern, but judging from the list, I might be, might be. Like, okay, first the game will launch, and you have four characters: Napoleon. I think I'm saying his name right. Leonardo. Mozart. Or is it just three? I think it may be just three. And then you'd be Arthur. And that's the first person we did. Vincent. Then we Isaac. Then the uh, Leonardo's, uh, Leonardo's. And then you'd be Jean. Next will be William Shakespeare. So I'm actually quite... Um, I really want to see Williams, Williams because um, Williams because right now, I remember I said this. Um, I got a feeling William Shakespeare uh, played in a, uh, like a role to this. I need to know about William. Okay, sing German, and then um, you be and uh, Dazzy, uh, does I, um, does I um, and I'm. I'm. I really want to know because um, because when I um, I remember I read um, um some information um, Dazai killed himself um, uh, he tried to kill himself twice, but the final um time, um, he killed himself with a woman. I think that's the girlfriend or the or wife. And, um, um, and, um, there was a character in an anime and based off Dazai, um, Bungo Street Dogs, when the guy who really wants to kill himself, and then he decided, oh, I I'm just going to end my life with a woman. Yeah, um, uh, okay, as you can see, there's normally a four-month gap between each route, oh, a four month gap, uh, as if I remember correctly, they follow the same pattern. Okay, in the English version, since Isaac was the last release in Akimia Vampire, English has, has something around May. We kind of learned uh, Theos Rue should be coming in somewhere around September. Ah, uh, okay. So let's just say Jean, Jean is already here this month. So we have to wait till March, April, May, and June for William Shakespeare. Wait till June. Huh. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. 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 Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, let's actually carry on with this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, when I knocked, um, Arthur responded right away. I entered his room. Hey! I it's actually been a while. That's the presence. It's actually been a while since. Oh, it's, now it feels weird. Uh, now it feels weird. It's been a while since we come to his room. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> Hello, come in. He greeted me with a familiar broad. I'm not uh, interrupting your work, am I? Uh, work, whatever. Do you mean? Uh, there's a stack of paper on your desk, so I assume you were writing a new story and you've got glasses on. And then he just shoves them all away and be like, No, no, I have, I have plenty of time with you. Plenty. Uh, I'm an amateur, 
uh, deduction, but it's a fine start. Don't worry about the work. I invited you in. The truth is, I need I need the break. Arthur folded up his uh, thick uh, rimmed, uh, rimmed uh, glasses as, and placed them on the desk. He sat back in his chair. Arthur, no more. Um, and you look like you have a story to tell. And uh, you de- uh, <laughs> you deducted that. It deducted that. I've read over four dozen mystery not- uh, stories, but mostly you've quite transported. Ah, uh, you've just. You're just clever. Why do you say that? No, no, man. You're, you're clever. I, I'd say you're just clever. A compliment for me. Why I'll take it. Anyway, have a seat, please. Arthur is a little worse than Leonardo when it comes to getting, in getting his way. I sat on Arthur's leather uh, couch, um, uh, feeling like I was suddenly in a pacifist. Pisturistic's office. What brings you here, Purple? I want you to ask. Uh, I want. I want to ask you something. His smile told me he, at, at my questions. It was about our last conversation. I remember it quite well. And then he has like, he has like a notebook. Be like, yes, he was on. Mm, let me think. Of a random date. It was at the 23rd of Feb. I remember it quite well. To my embarrassment, my voice was uneven. You said I liked that. I looked at Leonardo a certain way. What do you mean by that, Arthur? Purple, you're a clever girl. Just pat me on the head. <laughs> that sounds like the opposite of why he was uh, imitating earlier. But I've seen it in the way you um you took your work and hear it in the way you speak um speak to us. In fact, you're quite clever. That's nice, but can we get to the point? What am I trying to say? It is you didn't come here for the answer. You already know the answer. Well, great. <laughs> my heart gave a dull th- um thump in my chest. You came here for confirmation. In which case, it's my pleasure to give you exactly what you desire. <laughs> what? It's been a while. Damn. It's like, oh my god, it's been a Wait, so. I don't remember coming in, coming into Arthur's room since we did Arthur's route. So Mozart, Mozart, Isaac, Vincent, and Theo. Oh my god! It's been like four. Like, I have to repeat some of the routes to get the um, dramatic endings, but. Damn, it's been a while. I would do it with um, battered breath um, a father to speak. Purple, when you look at Leonardo, it's with, with a sense of deep yearning. Yearning. I repeated the words. My heart is starting to race. P- um, put in the simplest terms, you're in love with him. ba bim ba boom sister. <laughs> in love with Leonardo? Dolphins? <laughs> Nani? My heartbeat just skipped the track. That's ridiculous, is it? Can you really deny it? And then a whole class try will be like, I objection. Could I? You're a woman of the world. You've been in love before. You must know the signs. Even I have. <laughs> Unless you've convinced yourself otherwise. Can I? Um, and I can imagine two reasons why you um, might do just that. Arthur held, held two fingers. Ah, oh, eh. One, you're afraid, uh, you're afraid of falling in love with a vampire. Speaking of, as a formal, um, former human, we're different from you in frightening ways. Two, you know that admitting your love it means uh, surrounding control, giving up your plans for the future, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, yeah too reasonable. I don't see how I could just give up. Which is why you must be so frightened uh, this is a new experience for you unless you have dated a vampire before. (laughs) 
this camera. <laughs> you're you're one of the casts of a dangerous, dangerous and unlikely a uh, painful love affairs. Who want to turn their back on such a prospect? I sympathetic. I'm sorry, but I think I heard. Uh, I've heard enough. Oh, listen. You may be right, Arthur. Oof. In which case, I have. I have to figure out the rest for myself. Fair enough. I won't um haunt you, but I'm here if you decide it's not a Leonardo you love. <gasps> Ooh, smooth, smooth. <laughs> I'll the lean the forward in this chair. On that note, I'll uh for a change my unusual, um, well, I like to call it a consolation fee. Knowing you came to see me in a moment of a uh, need. Need is more enough for me. He spun his chair back around, rolled up his sleeves, and um, sp- split on his glasses. Uh, back to the uh, grindstone. Have a lovely evening, Purple. Damn. Damn, it's been a while. <laughs> the hallway outside Arthur's room was quiet, but there was a staring in my heart. Be- um, beyond the, um, the window, the clouds obscured the moon. I slept fitfully that night. The fog in my head couldn't clear it by morning. Purple Master Leonardo asked me to give you a message. Oof. What message? He did. I stopped the polishing at the emotion, the mention of his name. Come see, uh, come to me as soon as you are done with work. We'll, we'll have, um, another dance lesson. Oh. Okay, that's the message. Message. Uh, since you two are so decided, uh, Dissected. I declare that spoon the last of yours work. Now go see him. I'm not sure I'm I'm right I'm I'm right to do that. Oh, okay, thank you. But as it turned out, uh, facing my feelings about Leonardo was only the first hurdle. Okay, where is he? Wait. He didn't give us a specific location. I searched this room, the music room, the foyer. He- each and every hallway, no sign of him. He could have um, told me where he'd be. Oh, he's taking a person. Ah, do it. Either we play hide and seek, or he's not in the mansion. I saw him, um, it was then a sweet, uh, familiar scent that teased my sense of smell. It was faint on the air. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He smokes. Bro, you can literally be a dog and sniff it. Is it coming from over there? Oh. Oh, hello. I pushed open the doors to the library and was greeted by um, walls of uh, old books. There you are. Leonardo sat on the f- uh, floor, his back to the uh, shelves, asleep in the f- uh, um, forest of uh, knowledge, like a prince in, in a most uh, unusual fairy tale. One step, two step, I kneeled down before him, whatever fairy tale he was in. I felt myself insatiably becoming a part of it. Hello there, I was looking for you. Leonardo didn't st- stare. The library was so quiet, I could hear his breathing. I stole a, a look on his face. My eyes were always uh, drawn to him. You asked me to come find you, then you have the g- uh, gall to um, fall asleep before I arrived. This is the place you kissed me, you know, you grabbed me, uh, uh, grabbed me and kissed me, even though I barely learned your name. Oh yeah, you shouldn't go out there alone, but don't uh, try and stop me, um, vampire. I'm not going to uh, become your next meal. You're not hearing me. I, uh, it was a case I still remember, and you were always doing whatever you wanted without asking me. Actually, I need to uh, set something down um, down first, just, um, just to keep things safe. Very well, what is that? You can't ask me anything you want, but only... Um, only get one question a day. More than that is too much trouble for me. One question a day. That's adding a condition after we um, already agree on the terms. Yeah, you're right. As um, company, uh, c- um, company, I guess we need to work on our communication. Uh, your room is a mess. You you smoke. Is that a problem? <laughs> your room is a mess. Okay, fair enough. Like, bruh, like, fair enough. My room is clean, not gonna lie. The only part is messy is my bed. My desk is alright. And there's... And... Yeah, my room is, is actually quite clean. Um, shelf is just books. Books. 
mangas, video games, and probably some movies. Um, the drawers, um, where I put random stuff that um, are actually quite messy, but they're alright. I organise them so they can actually fit right. <laughs> smoke! Okay. Fair, fair enough. Like, smoking is, like... It's kind of bad for you, like, or like smoking. Like, it's kind of bad for you, smoking. Like, I have no right to come up and be like, "Oh, you kind of smoke." Like, if you want to smoke, that's fine. Just learn about the consequences about smoking. It's bad for your lungs, basically. Yeah, that's basically. I never smoke in my life. No, I never smoke in my life. Okay, yeah, so what's wrong with smoking? What's wrong with that? Okay, you tease me and constantly. Yeah, for a people tease. Yeah. It was so easy to think of things I didn't like about him, she didn't like about him. But even with all that, you still love him. After I tickle, um, tick down the long um, list of things I, ha ha I hated about Leonardo, there came the good. Memories so bright and fun. You were the first a person here to make me smile, to get me to open up and laugh. This is a map of One Piece. Yeah, that's the Fra Muscara map, an old map of the world. Me, meet in Italy right around the time I was born. Congratulations! I begged, uh, uh, I begged Lin Comte uh, about it, and he got me this copy really close to the original. Not sure. How he pulled that off. Eh, it's beautiful. It was uh, upside down. Um, but look at it. Uh, Norway, Swiss, uh, Finland. There's the Linian uh, Castle Inn. It, it even has Japan. It's not too accurate. Thus the Garden of Ed um, The Garden of Eden. That's an art um, artistic uh, view of the world. I think uh, so too. I'm a big fan of maps and geography. Uh, old places languages. I am also a... I am was a travel agent. I arrange uh, trips for people, and wherever I can, uh, I, I couldn't um, visit myself. I, I uh, like to read up on. That's the first time you've done that. I uh, talk um talk my head off. You mean first time you've um uh, worn a carefree smile. You dragged me down, but it was because you were watching out for me. Um, you paid attention to my every care and worry. Caramia, uh, there's nothing strange about that. You've, uh, you got, um, you're going through uh, right now, um, but you won't uh, feel anxious forever. Things will resolve themselves in time. Wait, I'm anxious? Uh, you've been afraid that you won't be able to go back to your time, yes? No, you're wrong. I never thought of that. You're a pretty awful liar. You helped me find the good in this time. You helped me to treasure every moment. I'm done making myself smile. Huh? But I won't stop smiling. I'll just stop fo forcing it. I'll have more natural smiles. What's the announcement for, Karamia? I just feel like you're telling you. Thank you, Leonardo. You say something to Siska. Uh, rings too loud. Leonardo da Vinci is a jerk. Who is a jerk? <laughs> You heard that, did you? I can't stop being um fascinated by you. I can't keep my heart from being moved by you. And the things that you've um said to me have uh, made me think um and be and have um brought me joy. Sometimes I think you're um, you're inferior, but in the next moment you're smiling. I've seen you strong and I've seen you in tears. Keeping up with you it keeps me busy, and I don't ever want it to stop. You're the, uh, the one who um, glows to my eyes, so unbelievably right, bright. Ugh. A little uh, reminiscing, and I'd uh, forgotten there was a anything I disliked about him at all, because I saw his flaws through to lads of love. Denying my feelings ha uh, hadn't stopped them. He hadn't been um, slowed them down. I suppose it's uh, true then. The wor the words were on my lips to say out loud. Is that you? Uh, that was until the colors of old and uh, tarshina gold uh, opened um shined upon me. Leonardo. 
Look at a little rim skin that I forgot and that was anything I dislike about him at all because I saw his flaws through a lead of love. Tonight my feelings hasn't stopped them. It hasn't been um slowed them down. I suppose that's true then. The words that were on my lips to say out loud. Is that you? And that was an until I um, that was until I saw so the color of old and tarnished gold opened and sh uh, shined upon me. Leonardo, how did you find me? I followed the scent of your um, cigar, and let me chew. Uh, something to remember for next time. Next time is uh, rude to make me hunt um, hunt for you, especially when it was um, well you ca who called me as many times that. As I've uh, had to find you in his fair. All the times it's better not ha um, happened again. Here, you're a harsh uh, mistress, Karamia, uh, making me uh, do all the work. Uh, we were uh, banished, um, bannering uh, back and forth like. Hello. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, back and forth like um, we always did. So, why did my chest hurt so much? Her, um, her wasn't the right word. My heart uh, was full of bursting with feelings, all of them beer sweet. This isn't like me. We were just uh, talking, nothing had changed, and yet I felt uh, myself on the verge of tears. I didn't want to cry, uh, not here in front of him. I pulled my eyes away from his and took a steady breath. Are we going to practice dancing some more? Let's go. Um, let's, let's go, go, Leo. Don't go. I heard his voice as I started to um, started to stand up. Before I knew it, uh, his arms were around me. Oh, Leonardo enclosed me gently in his embrace. I'm too tired to dance. Let's rest um, some. Oh, let's rest some. We can take a little a nap together, yeah? No, no bad idea, is it? No good one either. <laughs> no, it's fine. Let's do it. You're, you're very hard to reason with you, you know? Um, I don't deny that. My cheeks was against his warm chest. We we couldn't see my um he couldn't see my face, I realized. So I let the gathered tears fall. I thought was right. I was just denying it. You're a woman of the world You've been loved before but da, da. You know uh you know um you must know the signs unless you've convinced yourself otherwise and I can imagine two reasons why you might one, you're afraid of falling in love with a vampire. <laughs> I'm tearing, and then you got the tissues. Be like, I'm tearing up right now. Speaking of as a form of humor, we di differ from them in frightening ways. Ooh, two, you know, the mitten you're in love with means surrender, uh, surrendering to control, giving up on your plans for the future, perhaps. I don't see how I could just give up. Which is why you must, uh, must be so frightened. This is a new experience for you, unless you're. He did a vampire before. <laughs> and little winks and all that. You're on the cusp of a dangerous and likely pa um, painful love affairs. You want to turn their back on um, on such a propostic I sympathize. Because I don't know what it means to fall in love with a vampire. Am I frightened? Uh, where do I go from here? I told myself this is, wasn't love. This is, um, that is one become love. I never tried to stop it. I tried to protect my uh, my heart. I couldn't deny my feelings any longer. Blah, blah, blah. And the way he's holding me now. It does that. And does that mean he feels something for me too? I keep on thinking he must feel something. Then, why he's a vampire, he may, um, he may live hundreds of years more or where, where these, my time in the century, is rapidly approaching an end. Uh, in the midst of my emotional... um. Confusion in the storm, I was sure of uh, just one thing. Qu can you die? <laughs> no, no. I swear, I said this many times before. If you died, like, or close to the verge of death, and get Saint German, Germain, come up to you and be like, you want to live as a vampire? Huh? And you have to give up on humanity and blah, 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 and vampires, and you know what I mean. And then, you know what we say? Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. But if you don't want to do that, therefore, um, 
despair. I can neither ignore nor erase my feelings. Leonardo, I, I lifted my head up. His eyes were shut tight. He's asleep. Because he was asleep, and because he wanted to hear me, I whispered those words. Leonardo, I love you. Ah, oh, I shouldn't, but I fall in love with you. Whew. I slipped back into his arms, and as the tears fell, um, sealed his love doomed by time away. Um, besides, uh, me, and Leonardo continued to sleep. His own se um, secrets locked away in golden eyes. Um, atmospheric perspective. A painting technique using colors and details to make ob um, objects appear further apart than they are. In truth, the two share more than they know, not only their feelings but their tears. Uh, fears. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Chapter 16. Summary. It's time for the High Society Bar. And I still haven't told him my feelings. Are you having a good time, Karamia? In spite in spite of that, uh, this might... Um, this night was a dream, but an empty lay in the wings. Leonardo, chapter 16. Outside the mansion was as uh, uh, swathed in the ash gold light of sunlight. Inside, Le um, Leonardo looked down at the sleeping figure of purple. She lay in his arms, although of his regret, uh, she did not look entirely peaceful while she rested. There were a uh, trace of tears on her cheeks. Leonardo gently brushed her soft uh, cheek dry uh, with his thumb, and she did not stare. And uh, they had spoken only moments ago. Aren't we going to practice dancing? Um, some more. Let's, uh, let's get going, Leo. No, I don't go. Um, he pulled um her into his arms. A stern, impulsive action. I'm too tired to dance. Let's rest. Um, so we can take a nap together. Yeah, not a bad idea, is it? Even in um, half sleep, when he's uh, seen the deep sorrow in her eyes when she looked at him, the beginning of these tears, perhaps, and perhaps that was only uh, why he did embrace her, although he knew he should. Leonardo simply hadn't been able to help pulling and properly into his arms. It wasn't so much for sympathy or to show her uh, tenderness, although he felt those um, things. The impulse was um, instinctual to hold. To, and closed the object his soul desires the most. Uh, damn, I'll have smokes too. Damn! <laughs> his um, old um, voice was often there to um, to distract his mind when his thoughts went to that place. Now he had purple lay in his arms. She should have uh, filled the emptiness in him with well, of those uh, present words. I stress you and purple keep up your charred it's and words, but nothing more. And if it seems like she's falling in love with you and end your agreement with her, it wasn't just the argument his old friend was talking about cut her out of her um, life and by doing so free her. Falling in love with you will break purple's heart. And that will be um, what will finally break you. It's not um, my desire to um, see the of you end up that way. It wasn't as cruel a one as it had seen his old friend knew Leonardo well uh, enough to know how the uh, story would end. Leonardo knew himself well enough to agree his planning to put an end to it, but he could have closed the door on that beautiful, wild, um, uh, fascinating stone in his heart. Probably um, had become a part of him. Uh, when did it happen? He's been uh, caressing her as silk hair without thinking... He um drew away with a cyan, ran his gloved um hands through his through his own. When did you become so important to me? She uh, slept on um she slept on. He spoke only uh, to himself. Aww. The final chapter um a warning about your um body and your um heart. Fin finally, I'm alone. I sank onto the bed. When what was to be my room. Along with uh, Mosura and my thoughts, it was easy to imagine that this was a um, this was a dream. I, um, I was back in my hotel. If only it was a dream. I'm willing to believe I traveled back in time, but I cannot believe I had um, dinner with a bunch of tra time travelers, artists, and scientists, and musicians, and I tried to recount everyone I met. Eh, the brothers! Vincent van Gogh and his younger um, brother, uh, Theodros, uh, one paints a masterpiece, the other sells them. One, uh, one is nice, the other one, I'm not sure of that. They seem close enough. 
Hey, Arthur and Dazai. The two uh, uh, um, Arthurs, Sir, uh, Sir Arthur, Candor, and Dolly, who creates Sherlock Holmes, and... Okay, no, okay, yeah, here you go, yes. Okay. And uh, Osamu and Dazai, who wrote in No Longer Human. Yes, okay, yeah. I did look at the book, because I remember my cousin, um... Um, saying she's, like, a wee band into, um, um, uh, Dazai, um, like, the, uh, like, Bungle Stray Dogs, I, um, obviously, it, um, in Bungle Stray Dog, one of the characters, um, based on an actual character, and she actually, um, got the book off, you know, No Longer Human. Uh, I didn't read the, uh, read the book. I didn't, and, um, I think he wrote, um, High School Girl or something like that. He wrote another one. The class of Flora and the class clown. And they both seem to want my attention. Eh, the Gene and Isaac. Uh, well, Sir Isaac Newton, really, that shy, he won't look at me in the eye. I can't even picture Gene at the arc. I wonder what um, what she, I mean, he's really like. Uh, Leonardo, here, your words, they match the look on your face. That's right. How dare I also, um, I so lose myself around Leonardo da Vinci. And, um... What exactly uh, was he thinking? As if the banquet wasn't bad enough. Mozart. Wolfgang Amurath's Mozart. His music was so lively and fun, but he seemed cold and empty inside. And of course, I can't forget. Napoleon. I'll, also your, um, I'll answer your question um, later. You need to escape before the others find you. Napoleon Bombard. Uh, he was trying to rescue me. I'm sure of it. From what? I couldn't have a picture of the them lying and who they were, and my um, instincts told me they were um, telling me the truth. And besides that, um, well, well, the comedy and smashing game from lying to me, I'm not rich or uh, influential, and there's no benefit to that. Then it's all real, as I realized this picture um, places. And I slipped off my jacket, kicked off my shoes, and took out my earrings. Uh, enough thinking. It's time for bed. I slipped under the covers and shut my eyes, uh, despite my internal clock still uh, reading afternoon. I was um, somehow able to sleep. I woke up um, to the soft and crumble of the thick duvet fold by the creak of the bed frame. What is that? A dog! I thought um, someone else was in the room with me. Uh, they were on the bed. Oh, who's that? Uh, it's... It isn't um he, um safe here after all. I rolled out of the bed and I sprang on my feet. Um, a pair um, a pair of arms that grabbed me from behind and pulled me back onto the bed with him. Them uh, they were on um top of me, holding me down. Stop! I strung my hands and pinned me down on the shoes. My legs were trapped under theirs. Uh, don't move. Okay, they're okay. Hmm. Hmm.